Okay, now in this uh, presentation, what we're going to do is create a map from a shape file. Okay, so there's a lot in this. Now, the DBF one was short. I have another one where we looked at a DBF, which just took two, two or three minutes, but this is quite a bit of work. So, the first thing we're going to do is now, first off, I'm going to use a package here called RGDAL. Okay, now there's definitely many other ways of doing this. There's another package called Library Map Tools. Now, uh, I'm just sort of going for basic introduction to, into R. Specialist GIS experts might be able to pick out the sort of niceties of using one versus the other. I'm just trying to get through the main workflow and that will go in a very simplistic manner and the more advanced stuff we'll save for another time. So, uh, RGDAL and the package I'm going to, uh, the, I'm going to call uh, my, I have a shape file in my download folder okay so what I'm going to do here is my shape file I'm just going to be a bit lazy I'm going to use choose there we go that's a uh, choose file it just pops up a little window and you just point and click like that I love that thing I love that so much I'm gonna pick this ad Ireland admin one that shape file there we go so uh, now what I'm going to do here, that just actually just picks out the name, nothing done, it's just it picks out the, that all that is is my SHP, it's just the name of that particular folder. So the command here is my, uh, my file, so to speak, is that, I should have used file in there. Now so read OGR my shape file, something like that, okay take a second uh, looks good yeah okay that's good now so far so good so let's actually what we have here is we have my file now just as always particularly when you're doing dealing with stuff here that you're not overly familiar with uh, you could do class of my file um, just to sort of tell you what this actually is structured as okay and uh, mode of my file just do a couple of the other ones here they probably won't work s4 and um, length i doubt this is going to work but you know just there we are 26 so on you get the idea just to sort of get a sort of sense of what we're looking for this is not a data frame or anything like that it's much uh, more involved it's not a very simplistic data structure what we're going to do here is uh going to my file is we're going to get this ready my df so we're going to actually construct this as a data frame okay so the command here is what we're going to do here is use a command from the ggplot library ggplot2 library called fortify so um, what we're going to call this is my df okay and what we're going to do is this thing here is to fortify whoops start again my df is to fortify uh, my file okay okay that's grand so let's do the same thing again class of my df my data frame let's look at the head of my data frame okay so got the longitude and latitude okay very good uh, got groupings and all this and so on. What I'm going to do one last thing here is the dimensions of my data frame. Oh my God, 169,000. Okay, so essentially we got a very detailed map. Okay, so what we do here is to make a little map out of this. Uh, ggplot my data frame okay you actually just this is just ggplot now the aesthetics are x equals longitude okay sorry I'll just go back there a second the names of my df longitude and latitude there's a grouping structure there as well anyway so back to our map ggplot uh, my df that's the name of the data Actually, just to be a little bit clearer, but because they just be very particular about the syntax, we we'll just state data equals my df, x equals longitude, y equals latitude, and what else do we put in? Group. Group equals group. Okay. It just so happens that this argument corresponds to the group. It's just 
by accident they actually have the same name. Well, not by accident, it's just good practice. So group equals group, okay. Um, we're gonna call, yeah, let's actually just run that and see what happens. It's probably we need to do some little jobs yet, but let's actually see what happens when we run that. Nothing yet. So what we're gonna do here is we have to do a little bit more. Jom path. And now let's see what happens. John path is actually just to sort of join everything up together. There we go. That's a map of Ireland, the uh, Republic of Ireland. So uh, I think actually this is what I was sort of saying earlier that the the, the projection looks a little bit odd, but uh, like I mean, there's different types of projection, so you can adjust the the projection, but. I think we got a map there anyway. That's the th that that's the main thing. Actually, I'll just sort of see if we can look at just adjusting the projection. Um, just see if I have it in front of us. Um, I think what we can do here is let's go back here. Just one more. Coord map Mercator. And that didn't work. I probably yeah. There we go. So you see, it just it just needs a little bit of time. So that's just a little bit different from I had it the last time. That's probably a bit more what you might sort of see uh, in a newspaper or something like that. Anyway, we got a little map of Ireland. Okay. Um, I'm going to see if I can. No, I'll leave it there. I'm. I've done. I've. I've just gone. I've done loading this presentation already.